The raspberries in our garden are starting to ripen, so I decided uh, I was going to do a quick painting of some of them. You can see there's one missing in the middle. I ate it. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'll be working in a watercolor sketchbook on a French easel. Uh, I actually chose to use a very limited palette. White, ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, and rose red. Also going to use some water soluble color pencils. I'll be trying out a Zorn palette in some upcoming videos. I'm also going to take a different approach later on with the way I apply color and we'll talk about that. So the greens are just going to be mixing ultramarine blue and yellow ochre and just a little white. So obviously not going for realistic colors. It's kind of a gray green. For the background I just made up a cool color, sort of a purple gray. Trying to keep it very simple, ignoring all the details uh, of anything behind the leaves and berries. I started with rose red right out of the tube with a tiny touch of ultramarine blue for the berries. So I tried to focus on just using three shades of color for each of the major sections. Um, starting with a medium green and then adding in a, a darker, cooler shade on top and then finally a lighter shade. I also just tried to focus on the impression, the overall impression of the image. I'm not trying to capture every single detail and texture. I have the same approach with the berries. I mixed up a lighter shade of rose red with a little bit of yellow ochre and then an even lighter shade um, in the end. So three distinct shades of red. I actually forgot about the twigs and old petals and other brown elements around the berries so I had to add those in. I find the color pencils really useful to add some of the finer details especially working with casein. This is my fourth plain air painting since I decided to try it again. And I think I'm actually seeing some improvement. I'm pretty excited about it. I think the simple palette helped a lot. I feel like I'm loosening up a lot as well. So for my three viewers that will end up watching this video, I want to say thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you are doing any artwork of your own, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. In fact, if you made it this far and you liked anything you saw really appreciate hearing about it um, let me know what you think let me know what you'd like to see uh, and as always take care and thanks for watching